Hey, what's up? Being a true baller means starting before you even step on the court. You need to be strong, agile, and possess a bottomless reserve of energy. That's why you train. It's off to the park to ball before dark. Y'all know the deal. So why was Michael Jordan always the last man out of the gym? Because he knew training paid off. That's why Michael Jordan has six rings. Oh, yeah. uh, this is the main event trying to tell all the y'all. This is the main event king of the street ball. Let's face it, when the whistle blows, I go all out. This is for anyone who put my game in doubt. I'm still in tour, still main event on the floor. My name is Wally Dixon. They call me Main Event, and you're down with Sports Cool. We're talking training. To become that better athlete, you must train. The key to training is to increase your stamina, agility, and strength. Can't believe I'm getting played now. You got it all laid Basketball is all about running, sharp cuts, stop and go. You must have your body in shape, a good heart rate, a good workout before going into an actual event. My first days on the playground. Yeah. Training requires discipline, dedication, and sacrifice. Street ball, bring the heat, y'all. Came to defeat, y'all. Training programs should include, this is before you actually go onto the court. Warm up. Allow yourself five to 10 minutes to increase the blood flow, lubricate your joints. Flexibility exercises, stretch muscles, tendons. You hear a lot of guys go right on the court, Starting the game and pulling muscle. Yeah, I'm not striving for good. I'm motivated to be great. Then we have the strength development. You see a lot of guys with the big muscular bodies but can't squeeze the orange. You have to get those muscles loose so they don't be walking around like a tight body. The more loose your body is, the better things you're able to do. On the baseline with a spin, you be like, do that again. You have to have great endurance. Increase and maintain cardio conditioning. Very important. Uh, off the ball. Yeah. At home, you can warm up right now. I start doing some running in place. Get that heart rate going. Get those joints lubricated. And then once you get to the court, we can go right to some short sprints. You want to jog up, nice and slow, easy, get the heart rate going, and run backwards with your hands up. Knees up high. Hands up on the way back. And then we bring your knees to your chest. It's very important. This next exercise to help promote your conditioning is called the main tap. Heart is racing now, you'll see it work. After you do your pre-warm up, it's very important to let your body cool down. Your heart, it has to return back to normal from going sky high to medium and then back down to normal. And that's all a part of being in shape because we want to work on getting a quicker second win. Once you're done with your warm up, you gotta stretch. Stretching, less injuries. Keep that in mind. This is a simple stretch. As you can see, if you don't have a pole, you can use a wall. The stretch is going to this leg, my left leg. Right knee up, left leg back. You get a nice stretch, don't bounce. You should feel it in your calf area, your Achilles area, as well as your thigh and the back of your thigh, your hamstring area. This is where things get fun. You have to also use your imagination or the things that you have around you. A lot of times when I do the stretching exercise, a lot of people think I'm going to do pull-ups, but I'm actually not. Just want to grab one, do a bar, just let your body hang. Get a good stretch. You won't grow any taller, but you'll get a good stretch. Here's another stretching exercise. 
More stretching, less injuries. Main circles. This stretching exercise is to get the shoulders loose. You want to do this for about 20 good circles. 20 main circles. And then we're going to reverse it. This next exercise is for the shoulders as well. You want to take your right hand, grab your left elbow for a hold of 20 seconds. Use your right hand to pull your shoulder down. You should feel a stretch in that shoulder section. Switch. Left hand, right elbow. Left hand pulls down the right elbow. Here's another exercise for the shoulder. You want to take the basketball or the weight, hold it out in front of you. Up, back, back up, and back to the middle. Side. Back to the middle, side. It may look easy, but I'm stretching. I'm stretching my arms as high as they can go. You want to always start back in the middle. So we'll do that again. This is one set. You take the basketball or your light weight, hold it in front of you. You want to go up, push up, and back. Back to the middle, to the left, back to the middle, to the right. And you can feel it all in your upper body, your back arm, all in this area. Here's another exercise to stretch your whole body, especially the back. You want to have your feet shoulder width length apart, take the basketball, drop it in front of you, and just roll as far as you can go with the basketball. And then roll it back. You should feel that exercise in your back as well as in your calf and your back leg. Also, in the midst of your stretching, you have to have a cool down period because your heart races and you want to bring it back down to normal. So you have to take these exercises very seriously. It's your mind, your body, that's it. You're not in a race with the next person, you're just yourself. You have to have your body stretched. It's time to get the back stretched. Legs up straight. You want to bring them back as far as you can. If you do it right, no bouncing. As you see, I'm not bouncing. You should feel a stretch along your lower back. And just hold it. Hold that stretch for about 20 seconds. Back down and relax. A lot of athletes has this injury. They get an injury in their hamstring. Tight hamstring. You gotta remember, your muscles is like this. It's tight. You have to loosen that muscle to get the muscle loose so you can perform your, your duty. And one exercise I'll show you for your hamstring is you have to have balance. And if you're not by yourself, you can use something to hold on to or either a teammate or someone that's in the park with you. Take your right hand, grab your right ankle, and just pull. Hold that stretch for 20 seconds. Another way you can do it to keep your balance is find a spot on the ground and just look at that spot. Hold the stretch, look at the spot, and keep your balance. You'll feel the stretch all in your quad. Oh! This next stretching exercise is for the groin. I'm going to take both my hands and touch the right foot. You should feel a stretch all in your groin. Nice stretch. We'll switch it. You want to hold a stretch for about 20 seconds. Get your body nice and loose. Upper body, midsection, and lower body. Once you get finished with your stretching exercises, now it's time to get strong. 
These exercises is to work on your upper body strength. I'm going to show you three different styles of push-ups that you can do. Find out what fits you. The first one is wide hand. That works on your chest, to broaden your chest. Pick a number that you feel comfortable with, more than five, and do reps. Reps of five, five reps of 10, to what's comfortable for you. The next form of exercise is also for the strengthening of your upper body. We're going to do diamond push-ups. Nice and easy. The next is your regular push-ups. Classic. You want to go down, push up. Down, push up. This exercise here is good for your back arms, your chest. It's great. We're going to move on to the next exercise, to strengthen your upper body. This works more on your stomach, from the pull-up position. Just so want to bring your knees up to your chest as far as you can. You breathe in, out through your nose. And you should feel it all in your midsection. Here's one strength conditioning exercise that's good. It's called pull-ups. You want to lock your hands tight and just think about the bar. Your chest up, your chin up, down. Now that we have the arms and your chest strengthened, it's time to get to the legs. We'll do some toe raises. 10 toe raises. Get on the top of your toes, back on your feet. Don't bounce, not like this. It's the wrong way to do it. You want to get nice and easy, control, under control. I love this exercise. This exercise right here, I was in a bad car accident. They said I'd never play basketball again. But through this exercise, along with a lot of ex other exercises that you saw me do, I was able to get my left leg back in playing shape. I've been back playing for two years now. You want to start with your feet together. This works on the strengthening of your legs, quickness, like quick hops, and also the jumping. So this would be one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do five sets of 10. <laughs> you warmed up. You all stretched out. Now it's time to get some stamina. I got my man. I got him. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get you one too. Uh-huh. So don't go into the game just thinking to play four quarters, but go into the game thinking that it's going into overtime. <laughs> This exercise is called 17s. And the object of the 17s is, it's more of a personal goal when you're doing one-on-one -on -one conditioning and strengthening. You wanna go from baseline to baseline 17 times. But the key to it is, you have to do it under one minute. With the 17s, it's very important that you get your pivot foot right. You wanna run, pivot that foot, turn, and blast off. Vice versa with the left. Next exercise, I got it from my college coach, Bob Winslow, Rutgers University. It's called 30-30-30. What you want to do is, you want to walk around the whole court for 30 seconds. You want to jog around the whole court for 30 seconds. And you want to run sprints for 30 seconds. If you have a short court, you want to use the advantage of the half court. Use the whole half court 
for your circle. All you, all you, man to man, man to man. Remember to watch Sports School for other training tips and programs. Warm it up. It's time to get right. This is the main event trying to tell all the yards. This is the main event king of the street ball.